Apparently the lack of an indictment for Darren Wilson and the killing of Michael Brown is not enough for those on the right wing. More and more in the media are calling for blood and they have coalesced around one target. It is the stepfather of Michael Brown, Lewis Head, who's gotten in a lot of trouble for some of the things that he yelled to a crowd immediately after it was announced that there would not be an indictment. Uh, I want to start off, we've got several different people we want to show who are targeting uh, Lewis Head, but we're going to start off with a clip that we showed you yesterday which is of uh, Missouri's Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder uh, calling for an investigation into Lewis Head. Did you hear that soundbite from the stepfather of Michael Brown? What's your reaction? Uh, that he should be arrested and, and charged with inciting to riot. Yeah, well, I mean, why, why hasn't that already happened? I mean, we, uh, they, this should be mass arrests. Yeah, mass arrests. The mass injustice is not enough. They also want mass arrests. Now, we do have more people who are going to play. But before we get to that, we want to show you the actual videotape of Lewis Head and what he screamed to that crowd. And remember, immediately after it was announced, there would be no indictment whatsoever. So he seemed to have said burn this bitch down a couple of times. Yeah, several yeah. times. Yeah. It's pretty clear. Yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, first of all, was it wrong to say that? Of course! Of course you shouldn't say burn things down. Uh, first of all, of course, in a lot of ways you're burning your own community and mm -hmm. uh, obviously innocent people could get hurt. These are all things that are super, super obvious, right? Yeah. Now, he's a stepfather. Uh, what uh, would be your reaction if somebody shot your son or your stepson in the head when he was unarmed? You might be a little angry, right? Now, so, but that's not my primary focus here. My mm. primary focus is going to be on these clips that we're going to watch, right? Yeah. Because all of a sudden the cops have sprung into action. When <laughs> it was in the ca case of their uh, compatriot, Darren Wilson, oh, golly gee, Willikers prosecutors couldn't figure out how to put together a case. Yeah. Uh, they, they just, grand, how do I indict in a grand jury? I don't know. Yeah. But golly gee, we've never done this he, before. Well, he was inexperienced. He'd only been doing it for like 23 years. Right. Now, in terms of when somebody gets shot in the head, now look, that's a long, long, drawn out investigation, right? But when somebody gets upset that somebody got shot in the head and there was no yeah. repercussions, well, then we got to take immediate action. Yeah. John, uh, let's yeah. talk about immediate action that has to be yeah. taken. Yeah, and let, let's be clear about the immediate action. We're going to play these tapes for you, but this is not just now uh, sort of speculation about should he be investigated. According to CNN, police have not spoken ahead about his actions, but they intend to do so. Uh, multiple law enforcement agencies are involved in the, at this point, somewhat informal investigation into what he said. Oh, now, now we've let's got, show. Oh, now, no, no, now we've got multiple law enforcement. Multiple. Okay, because now they're upset. Now they're yeah. upset. When they shoot somebody in the head, they're not upset at all. Well, they're trying to figure out how to cover it up and hide their yeah. guy and get him protection and all the things that they need to do when somebody else is doing something wrong, and it is wrong, right? Now all of a sudden, multiple law enforcement yeah. agencies. Well, right. we thought for a bit that he might be protected, but then it turned out he wasn't a cop. Oh, uh, I see. Okay. okay, so here is Police Chief Tom Jackson uh, talking about uh, the comments that we just showed you. Now, a lot of other comments were made that, that I would argue, and even the Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder is going to join us later in the program, and it had to do with the stepfather of, of Michael Brown, who said, burn this b down, talking about the town of <clears throat> Ferguson, leading into the events of last week, last week. My question is, do you believe those comments should be pursued? Is that inciting a riot? We, we are pursuing those comments, and, uh, and uh, there's a lot of discussion going on about that right now, but I, I really can't get into that at this time. So, no, what's interesting is that when uh, Wilson shot Michael Brown in the head, it was a long time before we got to hear from all the different law enforcement mm -hmm. agencies, and they had to get their stories straight, and they didn't follow the proper protocol on how to handle Wilson as a witness mm -hmm. to what might have been a crime, right? Yeah. Uh, but all of a sudden... Now that there is somebody, a black person in the church, I mean, a person who incited a riot and who's dangerous right. and needs to be, I don't know what, prosecuted, right? 
So all of a sudden, they're all over Fox News. Yeah. We got the police chief, he's got all the time in the world. We got the lieutenant governor on Laura Ingram's show. He's apparently going to go on Sean Hannity's program later. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, everybody's out in full force. They can't wait to talk about this. Yeah, With Peter Dan Kinder Wilson, shush, I couldn't find them. Yeah. Now all of a sudden, they're everywhere. We had to wait a couple of weeks for Tom Jackson to do a vlog originally. <laughs> Uh, but now he's all over the media, but what is driving them? Uh, it's bloodthirst is driving them. In this next clip, you're going to see that Sean Hannity is effectively foaming at the mouth in trying to find everyone possible that's black in Ferguson to put into jail. Now, the question I have for you is for all of these people that are looting and all these people that were trying to put the place on fire, um, are you going to try and use this video and track these guys down? Absolutely. And that goes for the cell phone store, that goes for the liquor store. Do you have footage from both those places as well? Yes, we do. Dorian Johnson, who's in the video of the robbery of that convenience store, why hasn't he been brought up on any charges for his part in, in that robbery? And what about perjury? Very. Oh, um, we were just minding our own business. What about Me those too. people that testified, like Dorian Johnson, who said, oh, M Michael Brown had his hands up. Do you think you could, could pursue perjury charges in his case? Maybe in the prosecutor's office arguing that, oh, we should just let it die. But wouldn't that just encourage people in the future to act the same way and feel that they could get away with it? Wow, like maybe letting a cop go after he shoots and kills an unarmed teenager. <sighs> okay, so uh, Dorian Johnson was the guy with Michael Brown. He's the one who said uh, Michael Brown had his hands up. Mm. Now, there are other people who said, and I saw it with my own eyes. There's two white guys on the scene. We showed it on the, on the Young Turks who... I have nothing new with Ferguson, who are contractors, who show on the video, who go like this. His hands were going yeah. up. Not later, not after they heard Dorian Johnson's story, at the time, on the scene, right? Yeah. Dorian Johnson's not the only one saying that. Now, they do have other witnesses saying the opposite. Now, funny that Sean Hannity doesn't say that other witnesses should be tried for perjury. He's yeah. decided that Dorian Johnson and all the black witnesses happen to be wrong. Now, yeah. there are different races of different witnesses, right? But all the ones that Sean Hannity are pointing to are black and all the ones that were with Michael Brown. Now, look, you shot Michael Brown in the head and you killed him, right? And that wasn't enough. Well, why didn't they shoot Dorian Johnson? Why are we going to let him get away with it? Let's go put him in jail. Yeah. We got a black man not in jail yet. What are we doing? What? Now, look, I, I look, the looters drive me nuts. I don't want people to get, get me wrong here, okay? Yeah. I, 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 if you got those guys, of course you should pursue charges. They're stealing. They broke into some guy's store. I don't want to break into people's store. If you saw somebody lighting a fire, are you kidding me? Of course you should go after them. Somebody innocent is going to get hurt. Yeah. Okay. But be even handed for Christ's sake. Somebody got shot in the head and you didn't give a damn. Yeah. You made every excuse in the world. The guy was unarmed, right? And now you want to turn around and you want to prosecute everybody else who's angry about it. How dare you be angry? Know your role, right? Yeah. Bow your head. That's what they're saying. And that's what pisses me off. Yeah. I mean, look, yes, I agree. The people who are rioting should probably be investigated if they can get a close look at their face and they, they were stealing something. But, like, you as a member of the media, just let the cops handle that. You have a certain agenda when you bring Tom Jackson on your show. His agenda is this community which feels like it has just been punched in the stomach once again. Fuck them. We need to put as many of them in jail as possible. And he's joining just a chorus of right-wing voices saying that. Like, he doesn't care at all about the inconsistencies in Darren Wilson's testimony, the fact that he said that he angled his car so that they couldn't escape, even though Tom Jackson says he didn't know about the robbery. Um, the fact that he says he saw Michael Brown reaching into his waistband, even though Michael Brown didn't have a gun, and even though Darren Wilson had already said he didn't believe he had a gun, that's still sort of an excuse for wanting to shoot him. Huge inconsistencies. The fact that Dorian Johnson's testimony, not just about the hands up in the air, disagrees on almost every point about what actually happens, which to me would be cause to go to trial so you can actually figure out which one of them is telling the truth. He doesn't care about any of those inaccuracies, just lock up as many black people as possible. And two more things. Uh, number one, we've got a quote by a police chief here, Arati here. He says, everyone who's responsible for taking away people's property, their livelihoods, their jobs, their businesses, every single one of them needs to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of huh. the law. Okay. So taking away people's property is very, very important, right? And yeah. that goes to my second point. Stealing those Cheetos from that convenience store is outrageous, right? Mm -hmm. And by the way, when I saw Michael Brown pushing uh, that guy away uh, before he got killed, right? Now the cop didn't know about that, that he had committed that robbery, right? But they're stealing those cigarellos or whatever they are, and he pushes the convenience yeah, store. That drove me crazy. I hate that, right? Yeah. Now, but what's worse, guys? What's worse, stealing the Cheetos, stealing a TV, whatever they're stealing, stealing cigarettes, those are terrible. 
shooting an unarmed guy in the head and killing him when you know he's unarmed. I categorize that as slightly worse, but they don't. They don't. No. Because they you, think, he's being because very they clear. Believe, because they believe Darren Wilson that he looked like a demon. Yeah. The guy said he looked like a demon. I mean, how obvious is it? How brazen is it? Uh, now, remember, Darren Wilson, according to his own testimony, knows he doesn't have a gun. Now, he claims, oh, I'm reaching mm. into a waistband in my ass. But he said, look, he was trying to get my gun. If he already had his own gun, why would he be trying to get your gun? And, and you know he didn't get it because you still have it. You know it because he's running away. Well, how do you and know he he's running him away? Down. Because he's running away from the car. Nobody disputes that. He's running away from the car. Oh, no, 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 no. He saw a demon. He saw a mm. demon, John. Yeah. So you're not upset that the kid got shot in the head. Oh, my God, you called him a kid when he's 18 years old. Didn't you see how large he is? African Americans are very large and scary. By the way, everybody who's responding to me on Twitter, social media, everybody else, you're all pussies, okay? You all talk about like, oh, what would you do if you had a large black demon coming towards you? Mm -hmm. Well, look, man, as a cop, you got a baton, you got a taser. Although Wilson says he was too lazy to carry his taser. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry that we inconvenienced you. You weren't too lazy to carry bullets in your gun, right? Yeah. That you used to put 12 bullets in, or t fired 12 bullets and put some in his head, right? You weren't too lazy about that. You got pepper spray, you got all these options. But that, okay, also coward Darren Wilson. Mm -hmm. Okay, says, oh my God, there's a black guy running uh, with me. I have all these fucking weapons. I'm a cop who was trained for this. But oh, he's 35 to 40 feet away later. I'll claim it's six feet, although I never really disputed it. It's 35 to 40 feet away. I'm so scared of the demon. Yeah. And so what does he do? He doesn't risk anything. He doesn't risk anything. All he does is take him out and shoot him in the head. And all these pussies like Hannity, who are all so scared, they're so quivering. Oh, black people, I'm so scared of them. Let's lock them all up. Let's lock them all up. They stole Cheetos. They stole Cheetos. They said something wrong, right? They're all enormous cowards. They all need a gun because they couldn't, they couldn't do anything on their own. There'd be a weeping mess on the floor seeing demons all around yeah. them. Okay, yes, I said it, you're pussies. You're yeah. pussies, right? So don't, don't come to me about these guys did something wrong. A kid got shot with a bullet hole in his head and you defend it because you're also scared of black demons. That's what you're afraid of. And that's what this is about.